And tonight we're learning more about the North Texas Navy SEAL now presumed dead by the military. Nathan Gage Ingram was one of two Navy SEALs who died on a mission to stop Iranian missile parts from getting to rebels in Yemen. Fox's Sean Rabb tells us what happened. It was an 11 day search by three countries covering 21,000 square miles for two missing Navy SEALs. But Monday night, the Defense Department declared Navy Special Warfare Operators, First Class Christopher Chambers, and Second Class Nathan Gage Ingram dead. Nathan Gage Ingram, 27 years old, from North Texas. Roanoke's mayor posting on Facebook, quote, Our sincere condolences and prayers go out to the Ingram family, as today we learned one of our hometown heroes won't be coming home. Nathan Gage Ingram graduated from Texas Tech and could have gone in the military as an officer, but enlisted in the Navy in 2019 because he wanted to be a Navy SEAL, completing SEAL training in 2021. He was also married. The U.S. Military Central Command released photos described as the vessel the SEALs were attempting to seize during the dark of night to keep Iranian-made missiles and drones from Houthi rebels. The Houthis, based in Yemen, have been launching attacks against commercial and Navy ships over the war in the Gaza Strip. We already have in place and have been doing uh, interdiction to try to uh, stop the flow of munitions from Iran to uh, Houthi-controlled Yemen. And as a matter of fact, that's how we lost, tragically lost those two Navy SEALs. They were involved in an interdiction mission of that sort. SEAL Team 3, operating from the USS Lewis Puller in the Arabian Sea, loading into a special ops craft like this one. A Defense Department official speaking on condition of anonymity told the Associated Press as Ingram was climbing the ladder onto the Iranian boat, he slipped falling into the gap between that boat and the SEALs craft. Retired Navy SEAL Lieutenant Clint Bruce calls this, quote, a hard mission, adding, the ocean is unforgiving, and in those missions, the weather and the water are as or more formidable than what we face once we board the ship. The second SEAL, Christopher Chambers, jumped in to try and save Ingram. Both men weighed down by their equipment. Bruce says it's the brotherhood, one teammate going to another's aid. Two is one, one is none, adding that is our way. Both men now being remembered for their sacrifice for our nation. Sean Rabb, Fox News.